Hi everyone, Amber Canoy here with Everyday Kentucky. Thanks for joining us for a journey around the bluegrass where we're adding life to your years. And DG, you have brought us to Commonwealth Smiles yes. today. We're here at Commonwealth Smiles because it's important to focus on our oral health as we get older. DG, we've got Dr. Jessica Kress with us and you know, a lot of people suffer from dry mouth. I have actually encountered that myself and had to do with my medicine. So how does that relate to, you know, as people age, kind of impacting their dental health? Yeah, great question. Um, so as patients age, they typically take one or medications, and you are absolutely right. Medication directly affects dry mouth. Well, we can't stop taking our medication. We live in Kentucky. Most of us take allergy medicine, as an example. Uh, so the first simple answer is to drink more water. But we can only drink so much water. So something I like to recommend is a sugar-free lozenge. Think citrus flavors. Citrus actually helps you stimulate salivary flow, so it makes your mouth wetter. Um, another suggestion is to um, purchase and enjoy products with xylitol in them. They actually oh, yeah. are kind of like an antimicrobial um, product in your mouth. Yeah. And then if it's that bad, you can come to me at Commonwealth Smiles. I have all kinds of tips and tricks in the chair with my patients every day uh, because this is a common concern. But one of the things I can do kind of like as a last option is prescribe medication. There are actually medications that will stimulate salivary flow. So think cancer patients, patients who are going through chemo and radiations. Um, Sjogren's is something that affects women over age 40 a lot of times. And again, in Kentucky, we all have allergies. So drainage, dry mouth, and then people say, oh, I've got you know bad breath. We hear it from the spouse, they're like, can you please do something <laughs> about his breath? And so I go through the spiel, and, and those are just some examples. So I'm happy to help. Um, it is a case-by-case -case thing. Everybody's different, but it's yeah. a common problem. And the more medication you take, the worse it seems to get. Is there a probability that like the dry mouth actually would cause problems with your dental health overall? Yeah, so when a mouth is dry, it's more acidic. Well, that leads to decay. You start getting cavities, and then people think they should chew gum that has sugar, and it just gets worse and worse. Just kind yeah. of spirals. Yeah, domino effect. All right, well, for more information, go to WKYT slash journey.